You know those medieval fire braziers you so often see depicted in films? You know, they tend to be found in medieval courtyards, etc. Well, today, as a follow-up to my popular medieval fire torch instructional video, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to make a medieval fire brazier. Now the problem is I have got no skills and no ability with a welding torch and I certainly have no blacksmithing skills. However, stick around because I'm going to show you a, a quick and easy way to make a medieval fire brazier from one of these. This is a 13 kilogram gas cylinder into one of these.
there, all finished. My medieval fire braziers. I've made another example, um, just to give you an idea as to what kind of styles you can um, you can base them on. But it's up to you at the end of the day. As you can see, you're basically working with a cylinder um, and you could do a, a thousand different designs. And you'll probably notice I stripped all of the paint off of these as well, because um, it really it's just for presentation purposes. Obviously, it's not going to stay like this because as soon as you um, light a fire in there and it's left out, you know, throughout the winter or whatever, as soon as it rains, it's going to go rusty. But that's part of the look. But um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it and uh, making these fantastic objects. Don't forget to subscribe and um, like if you like the film, which would be absolutely fantastic. And, and by all means, if you do build your, your own medieval fire brazier, I would love to see some photos of the examples and the designs that, um, that you followed or that you came up with even. Again, well, thanks very much for watching the film today and um, I'll see you again soon. I guess the only thing to do is, um, well, light the brazier. Let's see it in action.